New testimony in the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse, the only person who survived being shot by Rittenhouse during those protests last year, taking the stand and describing the moment he confronted the defendant. Alex Perez is at the courthouse there in Wisconsin with more. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, Robin. On the witness stand, Gage Grosskreutz described the chaos, telling jurors he did not think he would make it out alive. Jurors, for the first time, hearing from the man who was shot by Kyle Rittenhouse and survived. Gage Grosskreutz testifying about when he initially saw Rittenhouse armed with a semi-automatic rifle during protests back in August of 2020. I thought that the defendant was... Um, an active shooter. Thinking Rittenhouse had shot people, Grosskreutz started to follow him that night as the teenager appeared to be running away. Prosecutors playing videos Grosskreutz recorded where you can hear him questioning Rittenhouse. Hey, what are you doing? You shot somebody? Who shot? Rittenhouse is charged with shooting and killing Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber. Grosskreutz telling jurors he witnessed Rittenhouse shoot Huber and admitting he pointed his own Glock pistol in Rittenhouse's direction. What was going through your mind at this particular moment? That I was going to die? Rittenhouse shot Grosskreutz in the arm. Grosskreutz says he never intended to shoot the teen, but the defense pushing back. It wasn't until you pointed your gun at him that he fired, right? Correct. Grosskreutz attorney insisting Rittenhouse was the aggressor. He's the one that caused that carnage. He's the one that put people in harm's way. And the prosecution could rest their case later today. Rittenhouse, if convicted, could face life in prison. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.